guys today is such a lovely day as you can see the sun is shining and then i'm just waiting here for um philip because he's taking the car from the garage we are going to the countryside so it's like the mountainous part of germany we'll be spending the um, weekend there and it will be so nice to spend time in the um, countryside you know spend time with the mother nature and stuff so let's go the uber driver is here Hello, to the airport please. <laughs> Every time we think about distressing, recharging, a quick weekend nature trip, Escaping the city life, Obertsdorf is always one of our go-to places. For just two and a half hours drive, you're gonna reach a stress-free zone. We've been driving for about a hundred kilometers already and Finally, I can already feel that countryside living vibes. This is what we really love about living at the southern part of Germany because we have an easy access to the mountains, Alps, and amazing nature. And Obertstorf is also very close to Austria. So guys, we just arrived here in Obertsdorf. It's just so nice, you know. Um, you would know that you've reached the stress-free zone when you can only hear the bird chirping. You can only see the, those greens and mountains. And yeah, we've been here a couple of times already. But um, yeah, it's always um, so nice to come back here from time to time. Oh, the sun is up, but I'm still feeling so chilly right now. But yeah, it's just feeling so good to be back here. So this is just a very small town surrounded with uh, big mountains. And it's pretty famous because of this uh, winter game. Uh, what's, what's the name of this winter game, Honig? This uh, for spring and yeah. she jumping. She jumping. I think that's the one. If you can see it from here, it's pretty easy to go around here because there's plenty of public transport. As you can see, there are lots of buses. <laughs> He needs to fuel his tummy. <laughs> so, yeah, I want coffee and some sweets. So, we're gonna load some carbs first before going on an adventure. That's a very cool mural. So these are just um, typical German countryside houses with all those murals. So there's a cable car going up. We've been there before. Long queue to go up. Are we gonna go up or just like walk around? It's it's not really cheap, you know, going up and. We've done it before, so I don't know if we're gonna do it again. We decided not to do a cable car ride, but if it's your first time in Obertsdorf, I highly recommend to take the cable car ride. It costs 44 euros per person for a round trip ticket. It's quite expensive, but I guarantee you, it's totally worth it.
up there, you'll definitely enjoy the amazing 360 degree view of 400 mountain peaks. There is also a cafe and restaurant up there. This is just so peaceful here. You can really smell the fresh air and at the same time the authentic smell of the cow shit. <laughs> loved every minute I spent wandering around Obertsdorf. Everywhere you look is picture perfect. The mountain views, old houses, hills, and grasses. It's still cold so you cannot find any cows outside yet. There are also many hiking trails to explore and each direction will lead you to a beautiful spot. to the lake now we've never seen this lake before so according to google it's so blue let's check it out let's follow the crowd let's follow the leader snacking is life yummy 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 in my tummy energy energy gap energy gap so the name of the lake that we are going to is Crystal Sea Lake and it's about an hour. Oh god, this is a real deal cardio here. Oh, this is just so nice guys. It's actually near the Austrian border. So I think if I'm not mistaken, it's near Tirol. Just a few kilometers away on me. And there's still some snow, some winter leftovers. <laughs> God, this is just so nice. We are almost there, guys. I think. On the other side of that mountain is already Austria. Guys, it looks so pristine, it's so nice. And it looks so blue here from above. We're gonna take a look. While we are approaching, I was like, okay, it's not really worth it. But as we go near, it's so nice. Freezing cold. Oh, look at the view, guys. It's so beautiful. from the snow when it's melting and it must be so clean and you can even drink it and there's also a cafe over there there are lots of people already so nice Klein aber fine, yeah? Yeah. It's a nice little picnic spot.
guys it's really epic I would say and it's also very accessible right there's even a bus station here now we are going back to Obertsdorf where we park our car and then we'll go to our hotel and then we also book a reservation for a restaurant later so we're quite excited for it because we're gonna be getting an XXXL schnitzel Thank you. <laughs> he's been thinking about it since last night so we have to walk one hour and 15 minutes to go back to Obertsdorf let's do it do you still have energy yeah <laughs> you know what I don't really mind if we're gonna walk maybe five hours or more if you're gonna just see this view it's so beautiful right such a perfect place you see those little flowers that's called crocus and it's everywhere Chili, my eyes are like. Are you hungry now? <laughs> I'm hungry too. I'm starving. starving. I can't wait for the schnitzel tonight. <laughs> I'm like. <sighs> it's connected there, right? Wow, there's a self-service store, whatever. What do they have here? They have fresh eggs, beer, um, cheese, and then you can also pay with card. I just find it so cool. Yeah. <laughs> so we're here in our hotel. Oh. oh nice yeah made it to our hotel and this is how it looks like it's very rustic rustic vibes this is a typical um, old german style right two single size bed together and then what do we have here we have a little garden In Germany. Yeah. Set up. It's good. So cheers. 
so here it is i got jaeger schnitzel and you got schwabische schnitzel right yep. let's stick it oh it is so big Mouth watering. Oh God, I can't. I can't finish everything. You have to help me. <laughs> Look how big the plate is, guys. But it's really, really good. It's just that it's so massive. 